Yo, what up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my MLB picks for Saturday, August 4th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all my MLB, NBA, and NFL videos. If you haven't came, check out my new website here at www.dfscheatsheet.com. You're absolutely missing out. We have all the tools to help you compete with the pros day in and day out, including a complete optimizer, tons of content. Hey, stop missing out. We've been on absolute fire. I think I've lost one time in the past two weeks on FanDuel. We're scorching hot right now. It's like I'm putting out some of these lines. I'm like, man, there's no way that line ain't going to do nothing. But I have to trust my process, go with my research, and boom, I keep hitting night after night. Hey, I've been on fire. Like I said, go check it out. Um, if you want to see for yourself, you can visit me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at RotoBeast. Um, check out my results. Check out everything I got going on right now. And, hey, join the money team. Um, so we got a solid 12 games late on this Saturday. Um, real quick before we get into this slate, though, um, I'm going to run the contest again. I'm, I've been trying to run it every day. I'm trying to get there. I really want to give away a couple free VIP packages to my website. Um, you know, in order to, for you to enter this contest, all you have to do, click the like button for me on this video. Drop your name down below in the comment section. If I get 100 likes on this video, I'll pick one lucky uh, member tomorrow to, um, you know, one lucky subscriber to go ch to get my free VIP 30 day package full complete access to my um, website optimizer content everything that you need to help you beat the pros um so yeah hey make sure to get in that contest click the like button make sure that you're subscribed and make sure to you drop your name in that comment section and uh, let's get into this video so we got some solid uh spots to we can definitely pick on first i'm gonna start with barrios going against kc um the guy just faced him them not too long ago he went seven innings five hits eight k's um, you know, one earned run, a win, and 52 fantasy points. So coming off a really good outing against them, I definitely think you could go right back to the well. Then we got Corey Kluber. Um, I think for me, he's a little bit more of a GPP play. The guy's just been really struggling. He's going against a loaded um, Angels lineup. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could consider him. He is a Kluber, but a, for me, GPP only. Um, next, I'm going to go to James Paxton going against Toronto. Um, he faced them earlier in the year, threw a no-hitter against them. Nine innings, seven Ks, got the W, 58 fantasy points. So solid outing. I definitely think that you can look at Paxton coming off a really good start, his last start as well. Um, then we'll go down a little bit. GPP only, but you can look at Eflin. He had a solid start earlier in the year. Um, against Miami, six innings, four Ks, one earned run, got a quality start. I think it was like 35 fantasy points or something like that. Uh, so for GPP, if you want to pay down a little bit, you can look at him. One more GPP guy if you want to pay down even more. Freddie Peralta going against Colorado. Faced him one time this year. It had a monster start against Colorado. It is in Milwaukee, which is a hitter's park, but he went five and, um, five, he went five and, in, um, innings. Gave up one hit, uh, 13 Ks, got a W, 62 fantasy points. I mean, the guy put up 62 fantasy points against them earlier in the season. I definitely think you got to look at him uh, for GPP. Catcher first base, we'll start with Freddie Freeman. Um, going against Zach Wheeler, he's 8 for 16 with two doubles and two home runs in his career. The guy's hot. We've been riding him, mentioning him every day, and he keeps performing every day. You got Paul Goldsmith, two for four with the home run um, in his career against Suarez. Um, Lefty-righty matchup at home in Arizona, Hitters Park, great spot for him. Edwin Encarnacion going against Felix Pena. I'm liking all these uh, Indian bats. Um, you know, he's going to be right there in the cleanup spot. I definitely think he's going to have some good RBI opportunities. Um, then we got... I'm going to go down, get a little bit of money saving. Logan Morrison... 2700 going against this guy Bert Smith. Um, you know, I think that he's in a really good spot, and my system hasn't updated yet. But one more guy I'm really going to be looking at at catcher first base is going to be Matt Adams for the Nationals. I'm liking these Nationals a lot going against Matt Harvey. He's two for six with a double in his career. Second baseman, I'm going to start with um, Odor going against Bundy. The guy's on fire right now. Hit a grand slam for me today. I played him. 
Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I've been picking a lot of right, the right dudes, especially yesterday. I told you guys go with Pierce. He had three home runs. Hey, make sure that you're listening to these videos and actually paying attention because I'm giving you some very, very good quality advice. So I'm going to go right back to the well, um, with Odor. Then we'll go down a little bit. I think you can look at, um, Jonathan Scope. Um, he hasn't really got it going yet too much with Milwaukee since being traded. But, you know, he just got traded a couple games ago. And right before he got traded, he was on an absolute tear. He has seven home runs in the past nine games with the Orioles. So the guy's going to definitely get back on track. This is a solid um, lefty-righty matchup. Go with D. Gordon, only 2,900 going against Estrada. Definitely think you could consider him. Villar, if he's back in that leadoff spot, I like him as well. A couple of guys, like I said, the system needs to update. It's still the night before. Two more guys I'm going to be looking at. It's Scooter Jeanette uh, for Cincinnati going against Jeremy Hellickson. And also, I'm really liking um, Daniel Murphy. Uh, you know, going against Matt Harvey, another Washington National. He's four for ten with a double and two home runs in his career. Third base. Jose Ramirez, I mean, the guy's crazy priced up, but if you could fit him going against Felix Pena, he's an excellent play. Arenado going against Freddy Peralta in a really good hitting environment. Um, where else am I going to go? Okay, yeah, Adrian Beltre, only 2700 Like I said, he hasn't been doing nothing special for us, but he's hitting value. I mean, so I'm going to go right back to the well for my cash games. He's just too cheap. He definitely has some upside. And then you got Miguel Sano, played him tonight, hit value for me, you know, right back to the well, going against this guy, um, Birch Smith, uh, for the Royals. I don't think he's very good at all, and I definitely expect Minnesota to put up some runs tomorrow. And then lastly, for some reason, the system doesn't have no Nationals in there yet. Um, but I, I'm loving the Nationals, to be completely honest with you. Um, so at third base for the Nationals, you got Anthony Rendon, 10 for 26 with a double, a home run, and a triple against Matt Harvey. Um, you know, yeah, this game, they don't have no, no stats in, uh, for that game yet. So it'll definitely be updated for tomorrow. Loving those Nationals, though. Um, and Rendon, he's one of my favorite plays. Shortstop. Francisco Lindor, 4,800, super high price tag. But going against this guy, Felix Pena, um, I definitely think he can have a monster game. Another national, uh, Trey Turner, two for eight with the stolen base against Matt Harvey. Loving those Washington bats. Manny Machado, um, you know, been one of the best hitters in baseball all year, going against Lance McCullers. For me, he's strictly GPP just because not the absolute best matchup. But Machado can hit, you know, double dongs any night um, at a 4000 price tag. Very fair. Elvis Andrews going against Bundy. Texas has been on fire. Got to really like them. Same reason I like the Nationals. They've been on fire as well. Swinging some really good bats, both teams. Um, Gene Segura going against Estrada, who we know gives up a lot of fly balls and a lot of home runs. Segura's two for four with two doubles in his career against Estrada already. Um, and then lastly, we can look at Jorge Polanco. He's getting a really good, um, spot in the batting order nowadays, um, since they've made a couple of trades at only 2,800 price tag going against this Birch Smith guy. Um, I definitely think that you could look at him. Next, we'll go to outfield. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to start with, you know, Harper. They don't have him on here, but he has two home runs in his career against Matt Harvey. Um, you know, another national. I'm liking the nationals a lot. You can also look at Soto, the younger rookie for the nationals going against Matt Harvey. Both of them guys are excellent plays. Then we'll go down to Nelson Cruz, 6 for 13 with a double and two home runs versus Estrada. Starting to swing a really, really good bat. I think this is a great spot for Nelson Cruz. Brantley going against Felix Pena, another Cleveland guy. I'm, I'm liking those. So, so far we're at, I'm liking the Cleveland guys. I'm liking the Texas guys. And I'm like, liking the Nationals. Those are probably my top three favorite teams going into tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, so Brantley, I'm going to definitely look at him. I'm going to mention him for probably the third day in a row. I'm going to go right back to the well. Sin Su Chu, 3,200, going against Dylan Bundy. Um, he's two for four with the home run in his career. 
Then we can look at Eddie Rosario, played him today, didn't have the best day, but didn't have the worst day. Going against Burt Smith, he has a double and a home run in his career. And then lastly, um, like I said, for some reason it doesn't have any nationals. I'll make sure that's corrected for tomorrow. But I am also liking Adam Eaton, going to be batting in that leadoff spot, going against Matt Harvey. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I told you the teams that I'm really liking. I like the Nationals. I like uh, Texas. I like the Indians. Um, and then I would throw in a couple of Minnesota bats. I think those are my top four um, teams I'm really going to be targeting tomorrow. Um, if I miss somebody or you want to talk about somebody a little bit more deeper discussion, hit me in the comments section or visit me Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, send me a DM. And, yeah, make sure you can get in that contest, like the video, drop your name in the comments section. And, hey, let's get this money tomorrow. Peace out.